I was blessed with perfect breasts. <laughs> I don't wanna brag or anything, but for real. Perky, firm, double D. Had I been on that Seinfeld episode, you might say they were real and they were spectacular. <laughs> so when I find the first lump in my left breast, I am blindsided. I know in an instant what it takes three months, two misdiagnoses, and one very direct physician to confirm. Lise, you have breast cancer, and it is aggressive. You're gonna lose your hair, your breasts, and possibly your life. <laughs> no. Nope. I can't have cancer, I say. My ex-husband is literally getting married today. <laughs> Pretty sure the new wife has boobs. <laughs> I'm single, I'm self-employed, I have three little girls. I can't have cancer, I can't do this. But you know what, my friend? I can do this. And for the next several months, I focus only on treatment, healing, and making life as normal as possible for my three little girls. It takes everything I have. But with the support of my family, and by the grace of God, it works. I make it through breast cancer. Can we just take a moment to celebrate? <laughs> Yes, yes, there's, there's just, there's only one teeny tiny little baby hiccup of a problem. Because yeah, the loss of my hair to chemotherapy is temporary. But the loss of my luscious tits to surgery, oh my God, am I allowed to say tits on stage? <laughs> okay, phew. That is very, very permanent. Honestly, up to now, I've always thought that breast surgery means reconstruction, like getting implants. And the entire medical community supports this, by the way, as if a radical mastectomy is just the first of many, many surgeries required to frankenboob your way back to normal. <laughs> but I'm a bit of a nerd, so I do the research. And I find that getting breast implants often leads to getting breast implant illness. Fun side effects include chronic fatigue, memory loss, and my personal favorite, more cancer. It becomes clear that for me, my only option is going flat. Now, as a plus size, single mom pushing 40 who desperately wants to find a new husband, this realization sucks. I have this horrible inner critic emerge saying, girl, you couldn't land a man when you had long blonde hair and double Ds. If you're bald, bruised, and bandaged, who's gonna love you now? Now, I hate, like, hate feeling that my value as a woman is conditional upon how I look, especially trying to role model for my daughters that our beauty comes from within. However, I am also human, and my all-time greatest insecurity is feeling like I'm not enough, and I can't just be the only one. Raise your hands if you've ever felt like you're not enough. Yes, yes, okay, so you get it. Here I am, confronted with this deep-seated fear, and on top of it, I am hella bald with a 26-inch scar across my chest where those perfect breasts used to live. I am really, really afraid. So I decide to be brave. I decide to lead with my light. And everywhere I go, I'm just gonna show up exactly as I am and let that be enough. And when I do, the craziest thing happens. Random people are stopping me in the street saying, you are so beautiful. <laughs> and the men, whew, 
The men are tipping their hats. They're opening doors. Okay. I feel seen. I feel magnetic. I feel like me. You know, we tend to think that brave is this one extraordinary moment that shows up in your life loud. But what if the bravest thing you can do is incredibly quiet? What if in a world that is constantly telling you you are not enough, brave is simply being yourself? Oh, and it turns out that for $49.99, you can get a great set of tits on Amazon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mwah. Oh, I love you. Mwah. One speech can change your life. Unleash your power. Embrace the strife. Inspire the world. Let your story flow. And speak a slam.